So, you want to buy a snail-based essence, but you're stuck between the Cozarex Snail Mutant Power Essence or the Benton Snail Bee High Content Essence? Well, sis, look no further because in this video, I'm going to tell you which one you should buy according to your skin types, according to what you're looking for in an essence, which one I saw the most results with, and honestly, which one is my favorite. So, if this sounds interesting, then let's get into comparing. So, first of all, the first thing I want to address is the consistency because, sis, let me tell you, even though Although both of these are snail based, the consistency is quite different in my opinion. So let's actually start with the Cozarex one first. I personally love the consistency of this just because it is very liquidy and it's just very spreadable. Also, as you would imagine, it is very sticky. As you can see, it is just very liquidy as you can see and look at that stickiness and then when you apply it on the skin it just gives you that wet glowy sticky too feeling on the skin that is just so moisturizing and definitely I really like but now if we move on to the Benton one instead this is just a lot thicker compared to the Cozarex one and also this is just my personal thoughts I feel like this has more concentrated snail mucin just because it is more thicker this one is more liquidy but I'm not sure so don't quote me on that as you can see it's just yeah, it's it's just thicker. Let's apply on the other cheek to show you what this looks like. This is also very sticky, but again, it is definitely a lot heavier and less lighter than the Cosrx one. So this is the Cosrx side and this is the Benton side. As you can see, this is a lot wetter. But anyways, guys, the feeling on the skin is basically exactly the same apart from the Benton one. Maybe it does sting a little bit because of the bee venom in it. And also the smell of this is basically just like fragranceless. It does not have a smell at all. And the smell in this is just very light, very nature, but it has more like an aloe vera gel kind of smell, if you know what that is like. But anyways, enough with the feeling on the skin of the jibber jabber, I want to move on to the actual tea. And that is the ingredient list of these two ingredients, because we all know that to find the true essence and what a product really stands for is by looking at the ingredient list. I personally am like a scientist. <laughs> I love to dissect and actually see individually which everyone does. So I did the work for you guys and I'm actually going to compare them right now. Now this has 96% snail mucin. It is basically all snail. This is just amazing. It is very moisturizing, very hydrating. And actually snail mucin is amazing for promoting skin elasticity, promoting the collagen boost in your skin, which essentially collagen is literally what keeps our skin youthful and looking very young. So it's definitely really good that this has 96% snail mucin power. They are definitely not scamming us. But on top of that, this also contains a lot of other very moisturizing ingredients, like for example, glycerin and butylene glycol, which are two derived of glycerin. And basically, this is just a humectant. It's where it's gonna moisturize even more our skin. Definitely really beneficial. Then there's also sodium hyaluronate, and this is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is just another humectant. It's gonna plump up the skin and again, add even more to that moisture. And then lastly, there is also arginine, which is an anti-aging ingredient. It is amazing. For fighting fine lines and wrinkles. So truly, this is just an anti-aging, very moisturizing essence. And now moving on to the Benton one, I couldn't find the percentage of snail mutant in this, unfortunately. However, the snail mutant is definitely very up high in the ingredient list. Therefore, we know that they ain't scamming us with this either. But on top of that, this also contains aloe vera gel, hence the smell of aloe vera. And aloe vera is just very soothing, hydrated into the skin, and it also is very famously known to fighting burns and soothing the skin from chemical burns, sun damage, bite marks from, for example, animals or stinging from plants, as well as plantago, which is just another plant extract that has the same benefits as aloe vera. And that is put in this to contrast the bee venom in it. So as you can see, the formula of this is truly really thought after. Benton really snapped with this. I truly said it when first reviewing this product, I was blown out of the waters. Benton, just wow, amazing. But the really interesting thing about bee venom is that it actually tricks your skin and your whole entire face to think that you have been stung by a bee. And so what this does is your body goes into healing mode. So basically it will send a lot of blood flow and so more oxygen, more nutrients to the skin and basically promote even more that collagen production and also elasticity of the skin. And therefore, not only are you gonna get more moisture and hydration, but also fighting fine lines, ages and wrinkles. So truly amazing. Now, if you were to ask me which ones I preferred out of the two solemnly based on the ingredient list, then I would personally 
honestly maybe go with the Benton one just because it also has the addition of the bee venom. I mean, if you want more snail mucin and you don't want the bee venom, I know that that can be a little bit intimidating, then go definitely ahead with this. However, now I want to move on to the results that I've seen with these ones and which one I've seen more results with. And the results actually differ between the two. So let me actually start with the Cosrx one. First of all, I loved how this made my skin look after a week. It made my skin just look, look so glowy, moisturized. Also, I felt like it was just a little bit more elastic, like it had a little bit more pounds to it, which I mean, we definitely ain't complaining about that. But now when we compare it to the Benton one, what I've seen with this is, yeah, a little bit of improvement of moisture and elasticity of the skin, but more so, I was seeing an improvement in the firmness on the skin. So like, for example, can you see how my skin is now reflecting light right here? I do have highlighter, but still, even if I didn't have makeup, my cheekbones would be reflecting light right here. However, when I started applying this essence, I could definitely see the light reflectivity point or actually the point of beautification. So the highest point of the cheeks to be a little bit higher. This, I actually described this as a filler in a bottle because I was literally so blown out of the water. So I mean, as you can see, the results do differ between the two. If you want more hydration, more elasticity to your skin and more glowiness to the skin, I would go with this one because I did see more of that with this. However, if you do want to improve the firmness of the skin and also maybe reduce fine lines and wrinkles, I feel like I've seen definitely more improvement with that and I feel like it is all due to the bee venom. But now guys, before you go ahead and run off to buy one of these two, I have to tell you something that I did not like about both of these. Mm -hmm. Because there is an issue, a very big one in my opinion, that comes with both of them and that is both of these actually peel up on you. Yes, they do, which is so annoying. They don't peel up with every skincare product to sis please sit down don't get heated D don't worry it doesn't peel up with retinol it doesn't peel up with niacinamide nor peptides or AHAs and BHAs the only thing that I've seen these two both of them peel up with is antioxidants so for example vitamin C's resveratrol especially vitamin E all the antioxidants that you can think about these two they do not go well together honestly I feel like snails and antioxidants they don't go well they don't like each other they must have had a B for something they must have went off with the same man and then they both got jealous of each other. I don't know, but they don't like each other. This is the point of the story. But so my advice to how you should actually incorporate both of these in your skin routine is actually you should use these in the nighttime. Yes, you can use this in the morning skin routine if you are not using antioxidants. Otherwise, they will peel up. So I personally use them only at nighttime with my retinols, AHAs, BHAs, everything. And so there is no problem of peeling up, as you can see. You can use both of these daily I would say you can use this both in the morning and at night and it will give you a lot of moisture hydration this one I wouldn't use this both morning and night because of the bee venom and I feel like the venom just as it is is a very harsh and strong ingredient so maybe using it both morning and night could be too much for the skin but definitely you could still use this on the daily and now moving on to the skin types who should buy these let me tell you both of these are actually what I call the prostitutes when it comes to skincare That's were you trying to address me that is because they literally go with every skin type. Once you purchase them, they will do the job for you no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, no matter your background. If you have juicy skin, oily skin, alien skin, dry skin, they will still work for you and give you that firmness, hydration, glowiness that you are looking for. I will, however, say these are especially beneficial for people with dry skin, normal to dry skin, just because they do give you a lot of that moisture hydration. They are also very good for normal peeps and also my oily peeps. Hi, how are you? I'm personally oily skin, part of your club, ow! But so, as you can see, I have oily skin, yet I definitely rave about these and love these both so much. But anyways, now moving on to the single most important question that I feel everyone is literally asking right now is, Mateo, which one would you use in your skin routine if you had to pick one? And the answer would be the Benton Snail Mutant one. Yes, indeed. Just because, again, as I said, I feel like this has the same benefits of this just you would see a little bit less of those just because this has only snail mutant so it will give you faster results in terms of elasticity yet you will still achieve the results that this could give you at a slower pace but on top of that this is going to give you the benefits of the bee venom so the increased firmness the increased tone the shine reflectivity of the skin which i truly love having both both in my skincare cabinet 
I have been gravitating towards using this more once again. So really this is just the ultimate proof that I personally like this more. Now I have to say if you would want to be maybe bougier and you want to get the best of both worlds then I don't see why you couldn't be able to mix and use both of these at the same time. And honestly I've done that. I, I, I know. I'm sorry I'm extra like that. So what I maybe sometimes do is use maybe only this on the neck and use this on the face or maybe use a little bit of this and then go on top of a little bit of this all over and so maybe that is gonna give you the ultimate perfect essence lastly you guys here's the thing let's compare the price because the price is also very much important just like the results the ingredients and everything else so I have to say this one is a little bit more expensive she's a bit more bougier also we have to mention the difference in the size like this is gonna give you pleasure. She can do a lot for you, okay, in those terms if we're talking about it. Whereas this one, she cute. Let's just say she has a very nice personality, okay? You would probably ask him, are you in? <laughs> she was, the, you know, the whore of charm school. A slatacious whore. <laughs> Because, I mean, it's just very small. It's very petite cute. <laughs> so anyways, no matter which one you've decided to buy, I'm gonna tell you the price. And actually, on Amazon, the price of this one is going to be 23 Royal British Pounds. And this is 100 ml. And I've, in my personal experience, found myself to last me more than two months. And honestly, this is two months in, and look at how much I still have left. So this is probably gonna run me another month. So three months for this bottle, truly amazing. Also, I love the fact that it's transparent. So so I know when I'm running out of this, whereas with the Benton one, I truly have no idea when I'm running out. Like, I could be already halfway through it. Oh no, it's translucent if you put it under light. Okay, okay, so I can see I'm up way here. So I've used this for honestly two weeks now, and I'm already here, so this is probably gonna run me a month, a month and a half or so. And this one right here on Amazon, it's gonna run you 1957 Royal British Pound. So it is cheaper compared to this one, just because it is in a smaller bottle. But but if you actually do the maths, this one is gonna end up costing you more. But again, it's, it is the added bee venom, so I feel like it's definitely worth it. But anyways, if you wanna go buy them on Amazon, then I made it real easy for you because you know your girl always got you covered. So I actually found the cheapest part of this thing that I could find both on Amazon US and Amazon UK, and I linked it down below in the pinned comment for you to go buy it. So if all you gotta do is literally click that link. I also know that some of us can be a little bit more greedy and nifty with our money. Honestly, girl, I get you. I literally am that. And that is literally why I buy all my Korean skincare from Yes Style. So so that is actually where I bought these two from. And so these two are gonna be cheaper on YesStyle. However, the shipping times is gonna be a lot longer because you know, it ain't no Amazon Prime. But anyways, this is gonna be 13.69 Royal British Pounds. And this one is gonna be 17.06 Royal British Pounds. Once again, if you do the math, however, this one is gonna cost you more. But anyways, if you maybe wanna buy these two on YesStyle instead, that also same applies. Your girl has got you covered. I actually linked once again in the pinned comments down below the link to buy these two. And if you wanna save a little bit more of those coins then what you should do is actually use code randoms at checkout to get money off your entire purchase yes ma'am but anyways if you're still watching and you have not yet subscribed sis might I might I very just gently ask you to maybe subscribe and turn the bell icon so you don't miss any of the uploads because sis let me tell you we are very passionate about skincare we totally only talk about skincare and how to make our skin look beautiful if you are struggling with maybe acne wrinkles fine lines whatever you're struggling with in your skincare routine you want to get your skincare routine down to a tea? Girl, this is your family for you. We would love to have you here. Mwah! And also, if you want to see maybe a little bit more behind the scene and what is actually going on in here, you know, if you want to in maybe interested, the way you do is actually follow me on my Instagram there as well because we keep the same energy. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Also, if you maybe have any skin issues that you want to talk one on one with me, the girl, don't hesitate to DM me there as well. I would love to help you out. But anyways, to my randoms who are still watching, I know this was very much just a very quick video. I apologize. It's just I had to make it for the girls that are undecided because very much I'm undecided when it comes to skincare as well. I I'm not undecided when it comes to my sexual orientation. That is the only thing that I'm very sure about, I feel. Well, I would kiss Ariana, Beyonce, and a few other celebrities, but that's besides me. I mean, who wouldn't want to have sex with Beyonce or Ariana Grande? Let's be real. Like, it's everybody's dream. So I feel like I'm still am only gay, not bi. No, not at all. But anyways, this is not the point. The point is, it's time for the Italian word of the video. And since this video was all about the battle of the snail mutant power essences, then the Italian word of the video is actually going to be 
batalla, which is battle in English. But anyways, ma'am, excuse me, I know what you're about to do. You're about to click off this video and go watch somebody else's YouTube channel, because I know what you do, I know how you act, but girl, let me tell you, that is not what you're going to do now. What you're going to do now is watch whenever of my videos, yes indeed, because they're a lot better. I'm just going to be straight up honest. Keep saying it. Just keep saying it. Keep saying it out loud, and maybe you will convince Hope, because you won't be convincing anybody else, so dream on. What you should do is watch whenever of these two videos right here. Do you see them? Just click them. They're just going to be as informative, just as funny, just as entertaining, just whatever this was for you. But also remember to be random and always be random while you're doing that. Indeed, indeed. Click it now. Click it. Why, why are you still here? Can you hear me? Is the audio functioning? What? Click.